Hi, my name is Justina, and today I will give you a simplified explanation of qubits in three minutes. This is Quantum on the Clock. You're probably watching this on a phone or a computer. In order for your device to work, it uses bits. A bit can be either 1 or 0, but what if I told you there was something in between? And no, I don't mean 0.5, I mean something that's both 1 and 0 at the same time, but also neither 1 and nor 0. You probably think I'm crazy or extremely philosophical, but I'm talking about quantum bits and the state of superposition. If you've never heard about this before, you might be in a state of super confusion. But don't worry, I'll explain a bit more, and I'm not saying you won't be confused, because even physicists are still puzzled by this, but it'll start to make more sense. To begin with, think of qubits as the cooler version of classical bits, literally because qubits operate at temperatures at about minus 273 degrees. That is colder than outer space. To see how a qubit works, let's use a coin as an analogy. If you flip a coin, you'll either get heads or tails. But what if you spin the coin? While it's spinning, is it heads or tails? In a way, it's both at the same time, but also neither. Sort of like a spinning coin, a qubit can exist in multiple states at once. It is in a state of superposition, a state that is a combination of one and zero. We never see the superposition of different states in ordinary life because once a system is observed, it somehow disappears. The system collapses into one definite state. Alongside superposition, another amazing property of qubits is the fact that they can be entangled. An entanglement means connecting two or more qubits in such a way that their quantum properties, including their superpositions, become entwined and inseparable regardless of how far apart they are. Because of this, measuring one member of an entangled pair of particles instantaneously tells us the state of its counterpart, even if that counterpart is on the other side of the galaxy. Einstein referred to this as spooky action at a distance, and you can see why. Using qubits and their properties, quantum computers are able to perform calculations that might otherwise take millions of years. In 2019, Sycamore, Google's quantum processor, performed a calculation in just 200 seconds that Google claimed would take a state-of-the-art computer 10,000 years to finish. Many scientists are working hard to beat the record and to set new ones. In the future, quantum computers will hopefully be used to simulate chemical reactions, improve cybersecurity, maybe even invent teleportation, and many other things that we cannot even think of. They open the door to a new world of amazing possibilities and could have a great impact on our society.